while responding to various queries by borrowers and members of parliament from the committees of finance and national economy during a lending meeting in Kampala, Uganda Development Bank's managing director, Patricia Ojagole, said, Business women involved in value addition are still grappling with issues to do with certification of their products. In our view, we think this should be a service given by government to encourage us to fulfill quality assurance. If we do that, we shall break through the exploitation of hibiscus, which is a natural drink, all over, even here in the country. I was given a land in Namanve, uh, one acre, to put wine from my small place where I am in Ichira. Only to start there was water. I had to use 100 million to, to feed. When I, after feeding, you would find one place is taken by someone. UDB's managing director, Patricia Ojagole, promised that under the bank's economic interventions, selected SMEs in need of quality certification will immediately be assisted. We probably can um, see how we can partner with government-owned financial institutions. We identified, I think, Post Bank, we identified Housing Finance Bank, we identified Pride Microfinance, so they can take care of uh, the microfinance segments. And then we also agree with them to cap like the pricing at which they lend. But they should be able to lend this money at our terms, 10 years, 15 years, um, three years of grace period if required by that business. Do not charge more than, I think we told, I, I think we agreed with them 13% because. Tuesday's credit access and management symposium was attended by members of parliament drawn from the committees of national economy and that of finance. Most of the benefits come from local content. And the local content, if our people have got to participate and take it up, they need funding. And they need the type of funding which UDB is administering. Profit oil is not that profitable. It is local content where the maximum profit is. I would like to request uh, uh, the, the MD among the priority sectors to include oil. Under the economic stimulus package by government, Uganda Development Bank was allocated 450 billion. The money is meant to facilitate fresh lines of credit under the import replacement for various sectors in the economy. Sandra Kahonde, Irene Nakungu, UBC News.